Hey, what's up everybody? This is Johnny. Just wanted to check in, see how everything is going, and shoot out another video on uh, the best way to do cardio. You know, all of us dread the old cardio sessions, getting on the treadmill, uh, going for hours at a time. You know, unfortunately, uh, that's not the way to do it these days. You know, there's so much more information, and I want to share that with you to get you to understand, you know, that you don't need to spend hours in the gym to get results, you know, every day, you know, uh, between strength training, cardio, you know, and nutrition, these three combined with an average of 30 minutes a day of working out will get you results as if you were working out for hours a day. So what I want to touch in on is the cardio part of it. Okay, this is a little bit about cardio secrets. So, what most people tend to do when they go into the gym, they get on the treadmill or the elliptical, and they start to go. They elevate their heart rate. That's awesome, we're burning calories. And we're going, 30 minutes later, we stop. What happens there? We stop burning calories. So then, we automatically think, well man, I need to go, I need to go longer. So then the next session, we're gonna go 45 minutes. Then again, our body adapts, and we think we need to go for an hour. That is not the case. The simple way to attack cardio is going to be through interval training. And what does that mean? That means you're going to be sprinting and walking, sprinting and walking, using the rower, using the assault bike, using the spin bike. The goal is to maximize the amount of muscle tissue we can use through this process as well. That's why I say use the rower. You're using lower body, you're using upper body, you're using muscle tissue, and we know that muscle tissue is the most uh, metabolic tissue that we have in the body, so it's gonna burn more calories. So the more we can use it, the more calories we're gonna burn, the higher we're gonna keep our metabolism in the long run. That's the goal here, right? So we do that through interval training. Now you'll notice in our boot camps we do similar. There's so many various ways, but you know, I'll show you a sample workout you can do also. But the goal is to elevate the heart rate, decrease, decrease the heart rate, elevate the heart rate, decrease the heart rate, you know, while utilizing muscle tissue. This is proven to increase your metabolism up to 38 hours after your workout. That means if you worked out today, on Thursday, you're still burning calories from this workout. All right, to give you an example, is we have a sprinter and a marathon runner, okay? Now this is something I visually want, I want you to think about visually, you know, close your eyes, think about it. When you're looking, you know, when you're watching the Olympics when it comes around and you see these people, you know, obviously competing in these events, when you see a sprinter, what do you see? You see a toned individual with lean muscle mass that maintains 8 to 10% body fat. In all reality, they're consuming tons of calories as well. Now when you see a marathon runner, you see a skinny individual with pretty much no muscle. I mean, it has muscle, but very little. They continuously run, so they continuously burn through muscle tissue. They maintain 18 to 20% body fat. Now, this is based on male statistics, by the way. So, what is your goal? Your goal is to reduce body fat, right? So, we're not going to run long distance every single day. We're not going to increase the amount of time we're spending in the gym every day, we're gonna increase the intensity we put into our workouts. We're gonna increase the weights that we use. We're gonna increase just overall intensity through changing your repetition range, through, you know, like I said in, in the weight training part, you know, changing your exercises, putting as much effort into your workout as possible in the shortest amount of time so that we're benefiting from what we call high interval, you know, intense training, whatever you want to call it, hit training. So that is the goal. Now I'm going to show you kind of a, a basic workout, you know, that you could do on your own that combines, you know, your strength training and cardio. And there's typically five exercises I put together. You're going to do a um, what we call a level change. That means lower body. So you're going to do a lower body movement, okay, with max effort. You know, if body weight squats are too easy, add some dumbbells. Next, you're going to do a push or a pull movement, okay? That means chest press or back, and you can alternate. So one workout, 